it's like party games and there's a lot of them and me and Eric bought all six packs <laughs> yeah it's just really fun anyways so I'm gonna finish doing my makeup I have it all laid out here this is where I do my makeup every single morning because to me I feel like the lighting is a lot better in here so I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and my hair and you guys will see me in one second and I am back I told you guys it would only be one second for you it was less so the fan is on so don't mind that but I'm ready for the day you guys I love these earrings so much I brought them I bought them from Walmart a couple months ago and I was like I don't know I don't know how I'll wear them if I'll ever wear them and to me I feel like they look really cute my hair was annoying because it was so this like keeps it out of my face this cute little braid which goes all the way down a lot of people want me to cut my hair I don't blame you I just dropped you guys that fan is getting to me TV each because I don't know if it'll annoy annoy you guys or what um I don't have my tripod so we're just gonna set you up like this and there's not good lighting but a lot of you want my want me to cut my hair and my whole thing is I've had long hair since about middle school that's when it started I'm actually gonna put you guys in my cabinet so you guys are a little higher so we can talk the long hair has always been my thing um if you guys remember I went and got ombre done and it was when my hair was like a little shorter obviously um I do not like how this looks at all so what I want to do in the near future I want to dye my hair all one color obvs I just want you guys to see the whole thing when it comes to cutting I feel like I need to chop oh that makes me sad um maybe like just remember you guys it's gonna be all one color but I'd say about this much in my humble opinion um and it'll definitely look better then but I get what you guys are saying because it's been a hot minute last time I trimmed it actually it was Becky who did it <laughs> and it, it, it turned out good it wasn't like horrible y'all this pumpkin be staying ripe all this green actually is how we got it so it's not like mold or anything. That's like literally how we bought it. It's like still hard and everything and it doesn't have a smell. You guys, this is just a precaution because I just now realized the clip you're about to see. I have lipstick on my tooth. Fun. So I'm just gonna sit outside. 50 degrees for the win. Whenever I'm getting picked up by someone, I like to sit outside so I don't have to make them wait. I feel bad. There's a few more Christmas decorations I think we want to get. Eric and Ricky actually went and got some. And there's a few that I want to get as well, just to like tie everything in together. Like our living room looks like, well, living room and dining room looks like Santa Claus came to visit and decided to like decorate our place. And I just, I love it. So as you guys remember, I bought this. I have been doing a picture a day and the one that me and Becky just took right now, it's still loading. Loading. <laughs> developing. It's developing. I mean, that's the yeah. same thing. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> Editing out. What'd you get? Do you need some hair extensions? I don't need hair extensions! That's what this is! This is I got asked that one time. It was when I lived in Arizona. No. Like, is your hair real? Look at this ornament that they got, though. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, you got that for um, Trixie. No, Chubb. I mean Chubb, sorry. Oh, <laughs>
It's so pretty. But it lets off so much glitter, it goes. Right? <laughs> well, you were on the right? It's cute. That is cute. So Told you. Told you. Oh, oh, what is that? That's a vinegar and olive oil. For what? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Your butt. Dual vlog. Where are you going to put it? Over yonder. I see you turn this on. Over yonder. A oh, monkey. <laughs> What? Oh, you never seen the country bears? Uh-uh. Well, that's your fault. I don't know. Hi. She robbed our tree. Wait. We should have probably got that bell what? thing, too. Boom! A bell? Yeah, it was like a two bells. It looked really cute. I thought it came with the tree, but it was separate. Oh. Right? I'm an um, interior decorator. Are you going to okay. decorate that space in between your ears? <laughs> Hello. My big ass teeth. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm too awkward. Here, you take what it. are we I doing? I don't know. I don't want it. <laughs> this is Dana. <laughs> they don't know me. <laughs> everyone no knows one you. Knows me. Everyone knows you. The <laughs> iconic Dana. She's oh, here. Yeah. I wish I could zoom in. Well, you can't. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all, I think we're tired drunk. Not we're actually drunk. Tired, tired drunk. drunk. Yeah. That's what me and my friend Crystal used to say. When we were like <laughs> super tired, we were like loopy. Loopy. There you go. I was like, there's there's something else that they call that. <laughs> I was trying to think. What was I thinking of earlier? I was like. Eric, Eric said it. What was it? Minus. Me. <laughs> you guys, we were playing a game. <laughs> and it said menus, but I forgot that was a word. It's like she didn't even comprehend that it said menus. But it said menus. So, but I said minus. And as I was reading it out loud, I was thinking in my head, what is a minus? No one said anything until the end. <laughs> and then Eric was like... <laughs> That's true. Was it Ricky? They were like, that's those menus. I was like, how was he going to say anything? <laughs> like, what is... I don't understand. Minus. It was a good time. <laughs> it was. I literally was... I thought someone misspelled something. And I was like, I don't know what to tell them. Does that happen so frequently? None of us can spell. <laughs> I mean, I can. Sis. <laughs> the other people in the room can't spell. Oh, Me my God. That. that was funny. What time is it? God, I don't even know. It's it's late. We've been just playing. Oh, Twinkie. Twinkie? It's 104. 104. How long have we been playing that for? I don't even know what time we got back. No idea. Like 6.30? Really? Uh, dead ass. I think we didn't get here until like 6. No, we got here at like almost 4. Huh? We got here like almost 4. To pick us up? Yeah. And then we went and then we came back really fast. Yeah, because we weren't there a long time. Yeah. Right. We went and ate. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, so we just wanted to say hey. Hello. How you doing? How are you? <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> Wait, do a British accent. Um. Oh, something. When I talk. Oh, um, hold on, that was really bad. <laughs> When I talk in a British accent, it's not very good, and my voice goes up. That wasn't bad. I can't do it at all. Really? Nope. Can you do any accent, though? Kentucky. Um, <laughs> um, I can only do British. They say if you say beer can in a British accent, it sounds like bacon. Beer can. Beer can. See? That's weird. I know. Um, I know a bunch of you subscribe like that though. Like you can't say Irish wristwatch. What? Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. <laughs> I know you can't say it. Irish with. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Irish wristwatch. Irish wish. <laughs> so about Irish. <laughs> 
Irish, Irish wristwatch. wristwatch. I have to think about that <laughs> so, so hard. Y'all mm -hmm. try that. Irish wristwatch. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, there, what else is there? There's another thing. I can't remember what it is, but it's kind of like that. You can't say it. Well, are you still a lot of useless stuff like that that people can't say? I don't have any of those. <laughs> None at all. My brother used to tell me stuff like that all the time. He'd be like, did you know? I'm like, why do you know all these? It's up like way high like that. I'm like, what am I Same. doing? Mine were hella edited, dude. Really? Like, yes. Oh my gosh, I can pull up pictures right now. Like, I look fake. Because they're so I don't think I've seen drastically any drastically edited. Like of course I use filters and shit now, like I'm not gonna lie about that. Catfish. But me. <laughs> like no, like then it would be like really, really bad. I'll have to I'll have to pull some up and show you. Look at that. <laughs> Hold on, there's more. But how old were you? I was uh I think a freshman in high school in these. Like look at like look how fake. Your eyes Like what what was I hold on, that's not a good one. What was I doing? Like, like, why did I think that looked so real? <laughs> and obviously, like, you can definitely tell that it's not. Right. It was like a rough time, okay? <laughs> like, like I said, they're pretty filtered now, but like, hold on, this was like recent. Like, I'm ashamed of this. Wait, but that's pretty. Yes, but I used an app, man. What app is that? I don't know. This is from like 2016. So who knows? Oh, wait, that picture of you. Which one? Wait, where is that? Where are you? I put on my Aww. hair. I had a really bad breakup. I went from having really long hair. Hold on. Really long hair. And I just cut it off. Isn't that weird how breakups change you like hardcore? Mm -hmm. And you're just like, I don't know who I am anymore. So let's just. Let's just chop all my hair off and die. <sighs> I need to do that. Oh, God, it messes with me. He has black hair. That always freaks me out. Test Don't times. you want to go dark? I want to, but I, I hate how it looked on me. Like, because I'm blonde. And right. And you know how when your roots grow out? I had, like, blonde. I'm going to be black. Yeah. And I'm like, too much upkeep. Too much hair dye on my hair. Too much damage. I understand but that. I want to go dark again, but it's like, I know I'm going to regret it. Because I'm, I've always been blonde. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, have it dark and then I'm going to be regretting it a month later and already want to change it. And I'll, it'll just kill my hair all over again. I, I mean, that's like that. true. Like, it needs to cut so bad right now because it's so dead. <laughs> I'm definitely going to go dark. You think you're going to Are you going to oh, be 100%. black? Oh, 100%. I think it's going to be like, oh, you, you probably like a chocolate brown. All over? Or are you going to do another ombre? All over. All yeah, I think I'm done with the ombre. You've had it for a while. Yeah, it just looks bad now because it's like, <laughs> what is going on? I don't. I just don't like it. I feel that. Where I bleached my hair in what May, I haven't done anything to it since May. Well, that's a lie. I got a trim, but like I haven't dyed it since then, and I have all these like I have my natural dark blonde roots, and then I have this bright blonde, <laughs> yellow, ugly on my. That's not ugly. My hair. I hate it. Why? That's a good color blonde. No, it's too yellow. Like what? Yeah, I don't know. I just don't like it. Mm. I wonder what I'd look like with that color hair. What? It just wouldn't be right. I don't think. Well, have you ever had any? Have you ever had blonde hair? No. The farthest I got to blonde was when I did this whole really? situation. Yeah. Hmm. You've never done that. I never will. You really? But it's just the thought. You never want to try anything like that? No. Have you ever had colored hair? Like bright colored hair? I've ha I had like a reddish autumn before, and I was only in seventh grade. Oh yeah, my mom did the tips of my hair bright pink one time. My dad was so mad. I don't even want to go there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, my mom had me dye her hair pink one time. My mom said pink hair, purple hair, blue hair. Dang, mm -hmm. I could. <sighs> that just wouldn't look right on me. Maybe if I was skinny. Nah, man. Dude, you just dye your hair whatever color you want to dye your hair. True. I don't give a crap. That's why I'm going to go chocolate like brown. It, I like it. I don't care what anyone else thinks. That's the way it should be. That's what, I, that's what they always told me. Like, my parents, they always told me they were like, I don't care what you do here. It's your hair. You're the one who has to deal with it. You're the one who has to live with it. Like, so I was allowed to cut and dye my hair when I was in middle school. Right. Like, however I wanted it to be. Like, they never stopped me from that. That's good. They never stopped me from wearing what I wanted or 
anything like that. Whatever made me comfortable. They always said that's all that mattered. That's good parenting, in my opinion. <laughs> really. Yeah. Like all those parents that are super strict. Don't dye your hair. Don't do that. You're not allowed to dye your hair. You're not allowed to cut your hair. You're not allowed to wear the kind of clothes you want. Like that's uh, taking away your kid's individu individuality. Like, 100% agree. I hate that. That's how I feel about school uniforms. Like I get school uniforms are like an equalizer all over. Like it makes each kid wear the same thing. You can't tell who <sighs> has more money than the other one. Yeah. But at the same time, it takes away every single bit of their individuality. Yep. And I, that shouldn't be like... You already have to grow up and work at a, you know, work at a place and then have a certain, some places have work uniforms that you're going to have to wear the rest of your life. Why limit them in their childhood mm -hmm. when they're the most creative? Damn. That's you heard it here. <laughs> strong. I don't have strong opinions on a lot of stuff, but that's something I really... And very passionate about. I feel like kids need to have creativity and freedom like that. We need to go to the eye doctor because if you guys don't know, I actually am supposed to be wearing glasses, but I kind of broke mine <laughs> over a year ago. I'm actually supposed to be wearing glasses 24 seven, not just to read, not just to watch TV, nothing. I'm supposed to be wearing them at all times. And yeah, I need to go back to the eye doctor. <laughs> when it comes to shirts, I always get a size six, unless it's the baby doll shirts, which I usually get a size five, but again, depends on the material. I have to sneeze. Oh, I have to sneeze. <sighs> ah, I think the sneeze is disappearing. I literally hate when that happens. So this is just a gray shirt, but it has like this pinkish color. It's like a blush pink. I don't really know. And on camera, it looks more red, but I just thought this was super cute. Love it. And it's that material that I really like. Okay, so I got this dress in a size four. I'm a little nervous for that because it feels like a material I have never felt before. So it's just this really pretty floral dress, but the outside material is completely see-through. So there is a under thing. What is it called? I guess it really doesn't matter what it's called, but <laughs> it's cute nonetheless. And it feels super light, which I thoroughly enjoy, especially in the hot weather. So we have another dress and this one to me is super unique because of what's on it. So I can't wait to show you guys. So it's a black dress, but it has super adorable foxes on it look and then it's like this blue design it kind of looks like paw prints but i don't think it is i think they're just like cute little flowers which i did get in a size five i have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit tight on me because that's just the material but I am losing weight and I'm so, I did get this on a size five, no, size six. Super adorable. It is sequins, but it's not the kind that like, sequins on the runway. you know, runway. Eric, this isn't your video. Yeah. No, <laughs> sequins on the runway. Is that cute? Yeah, that really is. I know. Oh. They didn't put green in there. They didn't because they didn't have enough room. Whatever. Look at this. Something. They could spare some of that yellow. Yeah, they could have gave up some of that yellow. Not even that flattering yellow. <laughs> like, but, literally, they gave purple. Like, yeah, just a little yellow. bit of purple. It's still cute, though. I like it. Still so, the next one is I'll show. I'll show. What are you doing? I'm still this. I'm wearing this. <laughs> Try on haul. <laughs> Girl, I'm a care bear. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Gay pride powers activate. <laughs> I'm done. Don't stretch it out. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. Um, next one. A size six. And it just says human. Human. You know. Because even though we are gay, we are still human. I feel like Becky would really like this shirt. 
That's cute. I like that one too. But he's talking about that one. Yeah, that's cute too. Wait, you like them? Yeah. Hey. You know, got a rep. Got a rep, you right. Even though Becky, you know. Becky what? <laughs> I'm, I'm editing that more. Um, and then I got some jewelry, obviously, because an outfit is never completed unless you have at least a little bit of jewelry. <gasps> oh my God, these are so cute in person. Okay, very happy. So they're like teal feathers. There is a little bit of gold on them. You can't really tell, but I love the um, gold chains. I think they're so pretty. And I love hoop earrings. As you can tell, I'm wearing them now. It is a more of a brighter pink, but I got a lighter pink. I got an orange and also got a yellow, which I feel like I could wear these with any of my little pride shirts I got. So yeah. That is my full haul. I had a lot of fun in this haul. I actually got some hot cash. I'm going to be real. I, a lot of the time, forget that I have hot cash and never use it. So, <laughs> so if there is a particular outfit that you guys want me to, like, show you guys, me wearing, like, the whole thing. I've actually been thinking about doing some, like, they used to call them lookbooks. I don't really know if those are popular anymore where I show a bunch of outfits. I'm thinking about doing kind of like a video like that, unless I've already uploaded it because I'm waiting too long to eat. I'm gapping it way too far. And then once I get super hungry, that's when I overeat and stuff like that. And I just, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna try really hard to have six meals today and I'm going to share those with you guys. Next thing I wanna talk about is I'm trying really hard to like create a schedule for myself like every day wake up and do the same things um take twinkie out to go to the bathroom and then get ready myself whether that be showering i like to shower at night i don't know if you guys know that like i know there's a lot of night showers out there night showers <laughs> you know what i'm saying um i just prefer that so i go to bed nice and clean and wake up clean i like to hope so um so i like to wake up and get ready for the day and then while I'm doing that, I'm like listening to music and stuff and then I like to film. And then I'm gonna start going on live or at least try to go on live like every day. And then I like to take Twinkie out for walks and if I can't do that because of like storms or whatever it may be because it loves to storm here in spring and summertime and it sucks. Um, then I'll just like exercise in the house and I kinda wanna create a better schedule for myself and actually get up and do things and I want to feel like YouTube is mandatory because I need that set routine. Next thing is I actually moved my scale into the den. So it's just easier for when I do like weigh-ins and like step on it and stuff. So I actually weighed myself today after a binge and I'm gonna put that right here. Five hundred point six. So I'm actually in that video. I am wearing my maxi dress, which is over there next to the scale. It's looking crazy. I figured I'm gonna wear that every single day. That's why I'm keeping it right there. So every time I weigh in, I could just put that on real quick. And I'm also wearing my Apple Watch in it and holding my phone. Normally those things I do not do. So I'd say take off easily a pound and a half to two pounds because my maxi dress actually weighs over a pound. Uh, my phone weighs 0.4 of a pound. This weighs like 0.2. I know none of that matters, but I have a weird obsession with the scale and you guys know that. So anyways, I will catch up with you guys later and I'm definitely going to show you guys my meals today because it needs to happen. And if you guys don't know, I am doing Weight Watchers, so I'll definitely share my points with you guys. So right now we're just in the parking lot. I usually let Twinkie just choose where to, where to go. Eric and Ricky are over there. <laughs> oh, found herself a spot. She's like, I need shade. It's so cute. She loves us. So it's been about two hours since I last talked to you guys and told you about the chicken and chickpeas. And 
I had a Dairy Queen blizzard. Okay, so I was gonna get food from there and I had to stop myself, but I got a Heath blizzard and it's 44 points. That is why I love Weight Watchers because this is only 850 calories. That's it. That's it. 44 points. What? That's crazy. So that leaves me with 15 more points, which is kind of a lot, but 44, that, that, that's more than some people get a day on Weight Watchers. For this, in my opinion, is a, like a small-ish cup. I don't know. Wow. So what I wanna do is actually get up, walk around, do some dancing, do whatever it takes to get me to 4,000 steps for the day because I'm currently at 2,500. Back in the day, I'd probably only take like 200 steps, so this is actually really good for me, getting 4,000 in. There was a moment in time where I would do over 8,000 steps a day because I felt like I had to almost. I don't know, it was just like this weird goal. So, I actually want to do 4,000, currently at 2,500, so I have to do 1,500 more. And I will update you guys when I'm done with that. I'm actually really excited. And it's currently stormy outside. Not sure how I feel about it, but nothing I can do about it. Like, I love the rain, but storms scare me. I did it. 4,084 steps. It's now getting dark. I did it. I freaking did it. Oh, I'm exhausted. Dance Monkey. That song gets me. It just, I'm feeling the music. That blizzard made me really upset. So I think this made me feel better in a way, but I still feel regret. I still feel, I still feel bad about it. <sighs> Y'all. Oh, <laughs> I'm hot now. It's, it was in the 80s today, so it is a little hot and muggy. <sighs> I did it. This is my motivation or my, I'm trying to motivate y'all, okay? Get up, do some movement. <sighs> You'll feel so much better afterwards. Just like, ugh, my favorite form of exercising is dance. So I try to mix the two, mainly like, walking but like walking and dancing it's hard to explain maybe i'll show you guys one day maybe i won't maybe i'm too shy <laughs> i'm too embarrassed the lighting is really bad look at that but then when i'm facing the light it's a little better i need to get a lamp for in here but yeah anyways i wanted to do six meals today i've done three well when i say meals i don't mean like meals meals I mean, just like eating six times. Um, and with what I ate for my third, a blizzard, I feel kind of like I shouldn't eat again. But then that's me doing that whole depriving thing, which makes me binge. So I have to work that out with myself tonight. And I'll definitely let you guys know what ends up happening. Again, I still have 15 points left. I don't have to eat them. But on Weight Watchers, when you don't eat a lot of your points, they don't consider that a successful day. And if you go over your points, they don't consider that a successful day. So if you have a successful day eating close to your points without going over, you get a little blue dot. And if I have 15 points left over, I won't get the blue dot. But why is my hair like wavy? Oh my god, wavy Lynn. <laughs> also, one more thing. I am now creating merch. I'm sure most of you know it is super basic, which is what I want. I want to create merch that I would actually wear 
or actually use or enjoy myself. And I like basic merch. Um, so that's kind of what I am, my goal is currently and kind of what I'm aiming for. Um, so I'll have some links down below where you guys can go buy some shirts, um, some sweatshirts. We have some mugs. We have some cell phone cases. We have some pillows, like just random stuff. So if you guys want to check that out, you definitely can. Um, and again, I'm also on Cameo. So um, that's down below as well. So, okay, you guys. So for part of this vlog, you guys are about to see the biggest Dollar Tree haul you have probably ever seen in your whole life. So it was bags. So to make it easier, this was actually from like two weeks ago, I'm not gonna lie. I've been forgetting to film or procrastinating. And I put it all in this. So let's let's just do this like fast, okay? So <laughs> I got some Easter eggs so me and my girlfriend can choose a room in the apartment and hide them. Maybe, like, put cute little notes on the inside. I don't know. Just an activity, okay? You guys don't know me. If you don't know that I literally turn everything into a game. I'm a kid at heart. What can I say? You guys know I am dumb at geography. So, my girlfriend got these uh, Color of the USA states. You think I'm joking? Well, I'm not. She even got the colored pencils. So the Dollar Tree is getting like a $5 section, which is pretty cool. This is a color changing Himalayan salt lamp. Super fucking pretty. Like, look at all the colors you can choose from. I love that. I got a pen because I do a lot of writing. Another pen with a flamingo. My girlfriend got some rope <laughs> um, for some extra... Tr tr Tricular activities. <laughs> Babe, I hear you and they're laughing. <laughs> like, what is the word? Extracurricular. Extracurricular? Curricular. Extracurricular? Love. Got another pen. A daisy. Oh, here are the other scissors. So, got those for the office. So, we both have one at the desk. Got some pine saw because this is what we mop with. Damn, am I running out of breath over here? I'm such an athlete. We got this like lint brush situation type deal. We needed some onion powder. So we got some onion powder. I got some lip gloss. This is LA Colors in the color Syrup. Also got the color Tainted Love. Some more colored pencils. Some more rope. <laughs> Love that for us. Look at this. Oh my god, this is a lip smacker bubble tea. I've been obsessed with bubble tea lately. This is just over the door hanger. I think I'm gonna put this in my closet. I got this like art paper. You scratch it and it's like colorful because it's like black sheets. Got some pounce tuna flavor uh treats for me. I love cat treats. I'm just kidding. <laughs> These are for my cat. I got a cat toy. Look at this cute little coin purse. So I got that to put in my purse. I got some Colgate Sensitive Complete Protection toothpaste. Got two of these disinfectant wipes for the car to clean. Got another LA Colors. Oh, this is blush. Got it in the color Mesmerizing. Babe, I'm out of breath. 500 fucking things from the Dollar Tree. Got some more stuff for the car. This is um, just some lemon scented wipes i got this for eric and ricky because they have is this a dachshund dash hound i don't know everyone like says it different i don't even know what it is so those are just stickers got some dominoes to play some washcloths um i'm loving this color scheme super cute i got another stupid game it's pool tell me that ain't the cutest thing Got some straws because you never know when you need a straw. My teeth is super sensitive, so sometimes it's easier to use a straw when I'm drinking. 
I got this LED crackle globe. It's also Himalayan salt. Look how gorgeous. Excited? I think I might actually put this on my desk. Just a thought. We've got some goofy string. I'm going to get my girlfriend when she least expects it. Got some Skittle freezer pops. I love freezer pops because they're so low calorie. So we got two canvases because we like to paint together with this, um, two of these artist palette things to put the paint on. All of this at the Dollar Tree, ma'am, yes. If that ain't the haul of your life, I don't know what it is. Like, now I have a mess to clean up. All right, you guys. So, wait. My girlfriend got me with the, the silly string. <laughs> I was literally taking a shit. <laughs> and I was singing Can't Be Tamed by Miley Cyrus on the toilet. And she's out here planning. <laughs> Wait, am I still drunk? Yeah, she's planning the attack on me. Mm. <sighs> she's next. Just wait for it. Y'all, 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 guess what I did? I got her good. I'd say that uh, it is zero to one. Amber Lynn won. Okay, so I'm blocking right here because we have candles that like, they're of naked women but um look at the really cute um salt lamp this is the other one this is um a shelf in the living room but look how cute oh my god she looks so stunning okay so i'm about to have a snack i'm craving something crunchy sweet and salty so i have these little packs of rice crisp this one is caramel this one is cheddar. So this is only 180 calories because this one's 100 calories while this one is 80. So this kind of reminds me, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Those um, Christmas tins of like popcorn. They have the caramel, the cheddar, and then just like plain. That's kind of what this reminds me of, but 180 calories for all of that. Love that. Also, oh wait, no, look how it looks. Oh, that looks dope. Well, you think that looks good on there? Yeah. It looks completely different. So you guys, we turn this on. In real life, it looks like pink, but on here it's like orange. But this is the, uh, the Himalayan. Wait, do I feel like, oh yeah. Wait, <laughs> is there no batteries in it? Oh my god. You didn't check the batteries? There's no batteries. <laughs> Wait, I think batteries come with it though. That's what it said online. They lied to you. Oh my god. We um, Four double A. Do we have those? Okay. All right, we found batteries. Thank the load. Online it says it comes with it. Is someone at the door? Hold on. Twinkie heard a knock. She's our guard dog. Do you think it was just Rarity being silly? Twinkie yeah. Swords and Guard Doggies! Thanks, Bubba. Are you a guard doggies? Oh, and the reason why the blinds are messed up right here is because the cats. I just leave it. They have a little space to look out. It is what it is. Wow. My face is so red. It's because you're just kissing. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm about to take my clothes off. I'm gonna weigh myself on my old scale and then my new one and we're gonna see the difference in weight. Okay, I'm gonna give you a play-by-play. -play. Currently taking off my shirt moment. Now I'm taking off my pants. Okay, so old scale, 
says 494.6. Let me some down weight from yesterday. Okay, now here we go. Come on. <laughs> it's ready. Iconic, am I right? Okay. Four hundred and eighty-nine point eight pounds. What? Four eighty-nine point eight. Five pounds different. Hold on. Just take it, baby. Just take it. Okay, I'm gonna do my old scale one more time. When I was showing you the ice, and we needed it to freeze a little bit longer, if you guys remember that. Well, good news. What was that accent? It does work, but I want to show you. Dear Heavenly Father, grace me upon your presence. Holy! It was kind of hard to open, but. They go in there super easy. So this is what it looks like. It's an actual perfect little Circle. Oh. She's, she's, she's cold. And then we have another. I am obsessed with this. And then when you need ice, you just have these little things. And you just pick it up. Or if you need a huge section that didn't break off so you just leave that in there you have a little lid baby goo but you simply just put it back in the freezer wow okay cuz transparency I got another Diet Dr. Pepper. So, no, I did not get any food from there, but we did both get a Dr. Pepper. It is so good, so satisfying. I promise if you like diet soda, you are going to be obsessed with that. Okay, so food time. I don't know the calories yet, so when I do, I will let you guys know, obviously. But we ordered sushi. I got some edamame, which I need to add some salt to, so I'm going to use this Himalayan moment. And then I got, obviously, ginger, some weird sauce that I will not be using. Do you want this, babe? Mm -hmm. Uh, wasabi, I don't really use wasabi anymore, but it's this, uh, just this like crab mixture, straight to the point. But then I also got, these are like tempura crab and tofu. I don't really know, so. You want a piece, baby? Uh -huh. Wait, I want you to try it. Please. Mm -mm. Okay, so if you guys remember from yesterday, this uh, oversized sweater that I got her, look at the other thing we just discovered. The million. What <laughs> do we do with that? What is that gonna do for us? I don't know. <laughs> you guys, this is so comfy though. She loves it, she wears it all the time. Um, we know it's summertime, but we keep the AC on, so. Look at this baby. She sleeps right next to me in the office. Oh, it's such a baby goosies. Such a baby goosies. She said, Mama, shut up. Shut up. Okay, so I think it is time for a torrid moment. So. Let's go in, grab something good, hopefully. Okay, this is good. This is a size six, so that's how I know. It's a shirt, because I get them all in size six. 
it is a tank top that I just thought was super cute to wear with like a cardigan or something. I honestly love it. So this is what it looks like. It's just a girl with purple hair, some sunglasses. I don't know, I think it'd be really cute with a cardigan, certain type of earrings, like with my makeup done. I'm gonna go get a cardigan and then we're gonna try it on. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. I love, and I know it's summertime. I don't care. I love. 